Hi, Junior. You just keep playing on your tablet, okay? All right, so I keep getting asked for an update on what's going on in Elmwood Park, and until late last week, I couldn't say anything because of my lawyers telling me, hey, Jim, you, you can't fucking say anything. I can say that because this isn't monetized and it's not for kids, so fuck. Anyways, so here's what's going on. Um, pretty much Elmwood Park, as you guys didn't notice what happened with Jack Miller, we thought they had maybe learned and calmed down because for the last couple of years they kind of kept their nose clean. Well, Jack Miller kept pushing them and kind of pissed off Chief Valenciano. So I guess they decided, yeah, we can still do whatever the hell we wanted to. So they're still up to their old tricks and they pretty much charged him identically to what they charged CJ with and, and me. Well, they got CJ with assaulting an officer because, you know, they brushed an officer's hand and he felt pain. <laughs> whatever bunch of pansy asses anyway so almost park obviously hasn't learned they haven't changed their sop they still have the exact same officers in play as they did two years ago they haven't had any type of administration leave they haven't fired any officers as far as we know they haven't had any retraining basically they said hey we investigate ourselves and we thought what we did was perfectly fine so we're going to continue doing what we're doing uh it's i it's hearsay that the city council attempted to uh, rectify it by possibly taking action against the chief of police, but Cleet, which is basically the the chief of police of Texas, stood up and said, "If you do anything against him, we're going to sue the hell the hell out of you guys." So it never happened. Um, we know they're still in bed with Leon Valley, and of course, Ch uh, Chief Savage over in Leon Valley is still, if he has a bigger retirement than uh, than almost Park is. I mean, he. They basically made him king of the city now. I mean, he's the city manager and the chief of police, and he's still arresting people anytime they even remotely attempt to, to say or do anything against him. <coughs> he's trying to get federal warrants right now for Google to find anyone who's making negative comments against himself, city employees, or the officer to try to bring them on a RICO case for organized crime to go and uh, conduct arrest warrants to arrest people for retaliation against police in a RICO case. This guy has absolutely no understanding of how the law works, federal or statewide, so it's hilarious. But anyways, to the subject, almost Park. We have uh, myself, CJ Grisham, and our law firm, who, who we are both using in separate cases, but, you know, because it works better if you, if you see them individually. Uh, have made multiple attempts to work the city. The first attempt they made, they basically said F you and gave gave us a figure that was laughably low. Like, not, not wouldn't even cover our lawyer fees, not even remotely close to it. Uh, second time they came back with the same figure. Third time they came back with uh, a slightly larger, like 50% more, which is still, like, I, I, make a, I make a good amount of money. You know, like, they, they, they brought what would be like 5% of my yearly income as a, as a figure. It's like, you know, you know, I'd have surgery and I was out of work for a long time and you guys are trying to basically give me what would be the equivalent to like half a month's pay, even though I was out of work for like six months. Like, yeah, go after yourself. Uh, so we kept working with them. They finally came back with another officer, which equivalent to about not even half a year's pay, not even six months of, of pay. Uh, so... Their, their lawyer um, basically isn't going to work with us. The city isn't going to work with us. The city council doesn't care. The city manager doesn't care. No one in that city really gives a crap. They think we're a bunch of poor peasants that will do whatever they want. They think they're untouchable because they live in a rich community and they're above all of us. And they can live in their own little municipality where they can make their own laws and they don't have to care about state law. And they're untouchable. You know, they, they, they can just do whatever. So uh, we're taking them to federal court. Yeah, we are going to file a federal lawsuit that will be uh, uh, formally announced. I mean, because I mean, I'm saying we're doing it, but it's going to be announced, announced uh, here in the next uh, probably week, maybe two weeks at the most. And uh, yeah, we're going to sue the living crap out of them. And we're going to take them to court. We're going to air all the dirty secrets. We're going to put all the video out. And we're going to show every little detail they did and how they conspired and how they 
you know, broke the law, committed multiple felonies, and we're going to air their dirty laundry. We're going to show everything the city did, everything the city manager did, manager did everything the mayor did. And we're going to show how they all conspired together to, to allow the chief of police to continue doing what he's doing now and made no action against it. And we're going to make sure that the entire state of Texas, when it comes along, because I have all my recordings from Baxter County, uh, or the Baxter County Sheriff's Office, from the Baxter County uh, DA's Office, from San Antonio, from the Texas Rangers, from Dan Patrick's Office. I have all of them. So I record all my, all my phone calls, which I'm going to be submitting in evidence, going, hey, guys, yeah, remember when you guys were all like, hey, we're going to, you know, if you try to step up, say we're all about this, well, I'm going to bring them to federal court, which means they're going to be evidence that's going to be admissible by or admissible or not admissible but admissible for anyone to look up because it's going to be part of a federal case to prove that you guys say you're tough on crime and you want to get rid of bad cops but there's going to be now federally searchable evidence showing that you don't fucking care so i'm going to make all you guys have a nice black eye showing that you're full of shit now, that's right and we show texas rangers are full of shit the the baxter county da is full of shit the sheriff's department's full of shit and every single one of them turned their fucking back to actual cops who are committing felonies that we have video proof of committing felonies that we have all kinds of evidence we have and where you've only guys seen 10 percent of the video that's out there the rest we can't share right now of them breaking my wrist of them you know um, let's just say it's all going to come out soon but it's going to be a nice fat shit show but until then, next Saturday, if all of you guys are in the Texas area, or any of you guys, or a few of you guys, or if there's one motherfucker out there, if you guys are in Texas, uh, 1 p.m., right outside of Almost Park in San Antonio, it's going to be the south side of Almost Park, like one street over, like literally, it's Almost Park, next street over San Antonio. Uh, they're going to, Open Carry Texas is going to be having a little, uh, little, hey, by the way, we haven't fucking forgot rally. So if you want to come out there, now I'm not saying break any laws. I'm not saying we're doing anything illegal. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to be legal. And we're going to be armed to the fucking teeth. So come on up. Bring your long guns. Bring your legally carried handgun. Wear plate carriers if you want to. Wear your boogaloo shirt. Wear your fuck the police shirt. Whatever you want to do, as long as you do it legally, come on out. 1 p.m. just south of Almost Park. If you go on Facebook, look up Open Carry Texas talk to david amid uh it's going to be post i think it's posted all over the place already but just look it up in facebook events it's an open event and uh you guys can come on out uh there's going to be a couple uh special guests that we're going to be out there you know talking with seeing what's going on and let's uh let's go knock on that door of city hall let's go knock on uh let's go knock it well i don't think city hall is going to be open on a saturday because you know us, us conservative gum owners actually have to work during the week. Saturday is the only day we can get free. But for everyone else, let's go knock on that door of the police department. See if they have anything to say. See, see what happens if they're if they're going to be big badass bullies when it's not just one dude with an airsoft rifle who's trying to you know put his hands up and say okay okay, versus I don't know a hundred, two hundred, three hundred people armed to the fucking teeth who can actually defend themselves. So. You guys got any questions comments or concerns the camera's over here on my phone uh go ahead and leave a message i'll get back to you when i can i'm on my phone right now so i can't scroll while making sure i'm not looking like a complete fucking idiot while recording and i will get back to you all right y'all fuckers take it easy now